Calaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, made a rare public appearance alongside Prince Willie as they joined King Charles and Queen Camilla at Crathy Church in Scotland. Kate was seen in the passenger seat of a car driven by William, with Prince George spotted in the back seat. Charles and Camilla arrived separately, greeted by a guard of honour formed by pipers from the Scottish Balaclava Company. Nathan Kay, writing for The Express, points out that Kate really is the star of the show. Kay writes... In a year that has tested the royal family like no other, Princess Kate has emerged as the star of the firm, her rare public appearances only magnifying how vital her role has become. Kate has understandably kept a lower profile, yet when she does step out, her presence brings a much-needed A-list touch to the monarchy. She is the Taylor Swift, the Madonna, the Kylie, the Brittany of high society. Without her, the royal family simply fades into the background. Princess Kate is without doubt the star of the show. In these trying times, Princess Kate embodies the qualities that made Diana beloved. A blend of grace under pressure, unflinching courage, and a genuine connection with people. As the British public rallies around her, Kate is not just a princess. She is becoming the future queen of our hearts. Her ongoing health battle has only highlighted her strength and has made her an even more vital figure within the royal family. Not quite as loved are Harry and Meghan, who appear to be confused that the world didn't fawn over their recent faux royal trip to Colombia. A source told OK Magazine, Both Meghan and Harry are keen to do more of these tours, as that's what they love doing and what they enjoyed most about royal life. But they've been left embarrassed by this latest backlash, especially as they faced similar comments when they went to Nigeria. They want to help raise awareness to the issues some of these countries face, and they know their profile can highlight that. They also know that these trips help elevate their status in Hollywood and in turn help their brand. They don't want to stop doing them, but are unsure of what to do next to win everyone over again. Harry would never change the life he's got with Meghan and the kids for anything, but at times he feels quite isolated, and he always thought he would celebrate his 40th, surrounded by lots of friends and family. He feels sad about everything that has happened, but he knows nothing will change before then. Meghan and Harry are used to the criticism and backlash and try not to let it bother them. They have had to go through so much during their eight-year relationship, and a certain nothing can break them. Whatever happens, they will support each other. Nobody thought they would survive leaving the royals and that the stress of uprooting their entire lives would take its toll. As well as Harry cutting off his family, Meghan only now speaks to her mother from her side and has nothing to do with her dad. But it's made them stronger and they are prepared to fight for their marriage and for the future, for the sake of their family. It's a testing time right now and they both feel at a crossroad. So they need to think carefully about their next steps. But one thing's for sure, they will come out fighting. According to an insider quoted by The Sun on Sunday, there has been some disagreement between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle regarding how much media exposure their children, Archie and Lilibet, should have. The source noted that in this instance, Harry's preference for protecting their privacy has prevailed. As a result, Meghan's upcoming cooking show, which is expected to be released soon, will be filmed in a nearby mansion rather than at the couple's £11 million home. This decision was made to ensure that Archie and Lilibet are kept away from the public eye and to maintain their privacy during the production of the show. Royal expert Robert Jobson has a warning for Meghan if she plans to enter politics. He said, I just think it's a dirty game if she thinks she's been badly treated by the British press. It will be an awful lot worse if you enter the world of politics in America. Palace Intrigue will be right back. King Charles recently intervened regarding a design element on a series of newly minted one-pound coins that features his effigy. The coins, which are a part of a new set that celebrates the natural world with engravings of wildlife like salmon, puffins, dormice and oak trees, include a design that incorporates a three C's pattern. This design harks back to a similar pattern used by King Charles II after his restoration to the throne in 1660. However, King Charles expressed concern over one aspect of the design. Chief engraver Gordon Summers revealed that the king felt the C at the bottom of the design resembled an upside-down horseshoe, which is traditionally considered unlucky. The king's attention to this detail highlights his awareness of superstitions. An upside-down horseshoe is believed to bring bad luck in contrast to the good fortune typically associated with a right-side-up horseshoe. 
Despite this concern, the one-pound coin, which is part of a series that will be gradually released throughout 2024, has been well received. In a poll conducted by the Royal Mint, it was voted the favourite among the new designs, ahead of the yet-to-be-circulated 2P coin featuring a red squirrel. These new coins, issued by the Royal Mint in Landstrian, Wales, reflect King Charles' commitment to conservation and nature. They join the millions of coins already in circulation featuring his effigy, with his portrait facing to the left, in contrast to the right-facing portraits of the late Queen Elizabeth II. Prince Andrew has been spending his time on various hobbies, including horse riding around Windsor Castle and playing golf. However, he's recently taken up a more peculiar pastime, watching live air traffic from around the world on a projector screen. According to Daily Mail royal correspondent Richard Kay, Andrew has been captivated by an app that allows him to monitor flights taking off and landing at airports globally. A visitor to Royal Lodge mentioned that the prince has grown quite absorbed by this plane-spotting activity. Andrew could soon face even more embarrassment as the National Portrait Gallery considers adding a photograph from his infamous 2019 BBC Newsnight interview to its collection, according to reports. The gallery, located in Trafalgar Square, is reportedly mulling over the decision to display a picture of Andrew during the interview where he struggled to explain his association with the late Jeffrey Epstein. The interview, conducted by Emily Maitlis, is often regarded as one of the most disastrous in royal history, leaving Prince Andrew visibly uncomfortable and raising more questions than it answered. The potential inclusion of this image would serve as a permanent reminder of the controversy available for the gallery's millions of visitors to see each year. This development follows the release of the Netflix film Scoop, which dramatizes the interview and the upcoming Amazon Prime series, a very royal scandal set to debut next month. To make this even more fun, Kate is the official patron of the National Portrait Gallery, although she reportedly has no influence over the selection of exhibits. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Send us an audio message if you want with your comments, suggestions, or my pronunciation checks. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue. Good times. Good times.